some degree, there is still some distrust with respect to speckle tracking. And I think it has to do with the fact that when we perform such an analysis, we all of a sudden get this magical number and we have some kind of skepticism whether or not this value is really true. Now this is in contrast maybe to ejection fraction or to looking at the size of the ventricle where we can actually see the image and correlate it with the numbers we get. But definitely speckle tracking is going to make its way and it's here to stay. There is so much literature that all points into the right direction and I think it's just a matter of time until speckle tracking is more firmly anchored in the guidelines. In many instances, you will use speckle tracking just to give you more confidence in what you see with other parameters. And in some situations, it already will point you to the direction of a problem that might be apparent a few months later or so. And I think this gain in information early on in the stage of a process is one of the major, major advantages of speckle tracking. Mm -hmm.